The next theorem about Cauchy sequences, I'm just going to state, and I'm going to leave you to prove it as a homework problem. Every Cauchy sequence is bounded. So another way of saying that is if a sub n is a Cauchy sequence, then a sub n is bounded. That means that all of the terms of the Cauchy sequence are going to fall into some interval. C would just have to be a lower bound of the sequence. Remember, it's bounded. And D would be an upper bound of the sequence. And we'll find out later that not only do, um, do are there an infinite number of the elements of the sequence in this interval, and only a finite outside of it, they will all begin to accumulate around one particular number. And we'll see that again in a future video.